Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So I thought today we'd just do a little bit of a relaxed day in the life. I've got a couple of things to fix up and declutter and stuff around the home and a couple of little home decor updates to share as well. And I can finally update you on the big life decision that I made. I think I mentioned that like two videos ago and it was something I definitely had to keep secret for probably like the last two weeks while I was kind of going through that transition period. So I am very, very excited to share that news with you guys as well. And yeah, this morning so far, I just got up and I went to the gym, did a little session of the Epic 3 program. I've just sort of been following along with that from Carolyn Gervin's YouTube. And it's really great because that is an older program that I started. I didn't really realize she'd released other ones since, but it doesn't really matter because you can just work through them at your own pace anyway. So I kind of felt like doing weights because I literally have my period at the moment and I feel pretty rubbish. Um, I don't know if you can also hear, but I am quite run down and I think it was just all of the running around and the late nights to do with making that decision. And I often feel like when you make those huge kind of shifts in your life, whether you're like moving house or doing something exciting, like you put all of your energy into that and then there's not much left over for your health. So I am feeling a little bit rubbish, but um, it's just regular rundown. I've done a test. It's not round two of the other thing, if you know what I mean. So thankfully, um, just like regular old fashioned uh, vintage kind of uh, flu rundown. So I um, ended up getting this little parcel from my mum on the way home. So I'm gonna open that up now because I have a feeling it might be like some Easter eggs or something really cute like that. She, um, if, if you don't know, my parents live on the Gold Coast. So that's where I'm originally from. And yeah, mum has a little tradition of always wanting to send something nice at Easter. And they are actually just about to head off overseas to uh, visit my sister who lives in San Francisco. So um, she has a little boy and they also just bought a house. So um, they're gonna go over and give them a hand just for a little while because obviously like they don't really have family there so it's nice for them to get some help and oh yes she has sent me my absolute favorite easter chocolate if you have never had these before i don't know what you're doing at this time of year but humpty dumpties are the og easter chocolate for me and my sister like that is always what we would ask mom and dad for they're like may i open this it's kind of got a little bit damaged in the post but that's okay we don't care, it's still chocolate, right? Um, they're little eggs and they're like filled with Smarties. They're just, oh, anyway, I'm definitely gonna eat one of those straight away. What else have I got? I got some Turkish Delight eggs as well. Yum. Those are my absolute favorite. I My mum likes Turkish Delight and I just feel like I kind of got on board with it as well. And then these ones, little Darily mint chocolate. So thank you, mum and dad. I don't think they watch my channel, but that's all right. <laughs> It's not really their kind of videos anyway. So something else I am actually wanting to do today is to jump on my laptop actually, because I want to buy the um, arch mirror from Kmart. I know it's like one of their older pieces, but I never got my hands on it and I have seen it in stock. So I'm thinking I would just order that as a click and collect now. And then maybe I can even go and pick it up later today. I'm not sure. We'll see how quickly they get it ready. So. 
I'll show you the one I'm talking about. It's just this one, which is the black framed arch mirror. It is $42 now, which is really random, but I think this must have to do with all of the um, shipping issues and things like that that are going on because I guess Kmart, a lot of their stuff probably comes from China. And in case you guys haven't seen it in the news, Shanghai is in a major lockdown. So that is definitely affecting quite a lot of supply chain issues and things. So I was lucky to get my hands on one of these because I reckon that they're going to be out of stock for a little while. So I've just added that to click and collect and I will hopefully go and get that because I'm thinking to put it over on my new kind of like buffet cabinet thing and like restyle the frames and things there. So I think I'll do that as another video next week because that is a little bit off topic. But for now, I have a couple of little home decor pieces, so I might go and grab them so we can do a little bit of styling and stuff as well. This is how it's looking in the space at the moment and I really love it. I'm definitely glad that I went with the glass table. Ignore the um, crisscrosses on the chairs. I've had them stacked in the corner for weeks so that'll come out once someone puts their little butt on it. But yeah, I just think it is the perfect size for the space and also the idea of the glass means that it's not going to make a small space feel even smaller. So ironically, this table was literally just from Kogan and it was only $200 and I actually think it's quite good quality. I'll show you the um, sort of fake timber or real timber. I'm not really sure, but it's quite nice and I was pretty surprised because I wouldn't ordinarily order something off there but it was just a really budget friendly option so pretty happy with that now I've just got to wait for the actual chairs to arrive too. Since I've been reshuffling quite a lot of things this has become a little bit of a crap corner over here and I'm not gonna lie it is absolutely annoying me because it looks terrible and I think it's just because I haven't kind of styled this area yet which is what I was talking about to like put the arch mirror there so I've kind of just neglected it and thrown all these things in the corner so I want to give that a little bit of a clean up now and yes if you have seen it um, but never seen it before this is my acoustic guitar and it has largely lived in a case for probably the last year uh, simply because I didn't have anywhere to put it but I think that I might be able to fit it on the stand over there in the corner so I'm gonna unpack that as well because I really want to get back into playing it too Ta-da! There it is! <laughs> now it's finally back out. I have no excuses for not playing it anymore, so stay tuned. Okay, so I have a couple of little homewares to share with you in this little haul in front of me, and they were kindly gifted by a brand called Nap, and I'm going to leave all of their details in the description box down below, but basically Nap is a premium homewares and kind of loungewear brand, and they just do some really, really beautiful pieces. So actually this slip dress that I'm in is believe it or not a nighty or for around the house and it is so incredibly comfortable it's called the spaghetti strap slip dress in white and it's just really beautiful it's kind of like in this really really nice silky material and it's honestly the sort of thing that I feel like I could almost wear out of the house because it's just so beautiful and comfortable and yeah, this was one of my favorite selections from them. I also got these super cute little pom-pom slippers that I could definitely see myself getting around the house in. And they're quite like grippy on the bottom as well. So I just thought those were absolutely gorgeous and really goes with my kind of neutral toned aesthetic that I've been reintroducing back into some wardrobe pieces. So I'm gonna pop those on while I'm sitting here chatting to you because it actually is quite chilly today. Next thing I got was this gorgeous little scented candle so this is the box which itself is quite beautiful and from memory I got mine in the amber looking little jar but they did have a couple of different scents and colors and things if you're looking to match with your decor so that is a really really cute even the lid is lovely although I do normally like to leave the lid off my candles but that is just beautiful and I might even just pop that right here on my new dining table so I can light it later. The last thing I picked up is actually a throw blanket for snuggling on the couch because that is my absolute favorite thing to do and I am definitely still a Gold Coast girl at heart because I seriously feel the cold. So this one is called the Tassel Blanket in Hazelnut and it just feels absolutely beautiful. So I thought I might actually replace it in the basket in my room. Um, I kind of just keep my throw blanket there but it is 
a little bit kind of it's just an old Kmart one and it just looks a little bit rough so I thought it might be nice to have something really beautiful to replace it with and these are the cute little tassel ends on it so I think I might get rid of my old one now because it is sort of looking a little bit tarnished and I can replace it with this beautiful one from NAP so like I said I do have a discount code which is MSC for 20% off and I will leave all the details for these items in the description box down below so this is a little corner that I am talking about and that is the old kind of Kmart green throw blanket but as you can see it is looking pretty rough these days so although it does match my color scheme I just think it would be better to replace it with my beautiful new throw from nap so I'll give you a quick update of what that looks like as well Okay, cute. So that is the update with the beautiful hazelnut blanket from Nap. And I really like that actually. I think it's a nice warmer tone and it kind of contrasts against the green plant instead of sort of blending in with it. Since I am feeling a little bit run down, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. And I've really been liking this one actually, just a basic Twinings green tea and peppermint. It tastes really, really good. It's a little bit later now and I've got my lovely warm tea here because I'm still feeling like, I don't know, maybe 50% of my normal energy, but I have actually planned a little date night for me and my partner tonight. So one of the girls at work went to a place called Murma Piano Bar and it looked really, really beautiful. It's just in the city in kind of like an old warehousey sort of space, but my boyfriend plays piano and his has been in storage for a little while because it got damaged. So I thought it might be a really fun idea to take him on a bit of a surprise date where we can just listen to some live music and get a couple of cocktails and stuff because it is a long weekend. So may as well sort of start early and in make the most of it. So I have a little outfit laid out, which I will show you after this because I actually quite like it and it's really, really warm today, which is nice. So you can kind of get away with wearing a dress for potentially one of the last times until we are back in summer at the end of the year. But I promised a life update and it is pretty big news because this is something I have not done in quite a while. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I quit my job. <laughs> And this was like a crazy spontaneous decision because I've actually been at the same place for over four years now and I had literally no intention of leaving until it randomly crossed my mind and once something is in my brain sometimes I just like have to act on it like I almost have no choice to like go backwards and think no like let's rationalize this I was like no no I am I'm quitting I'm done I am out <laughs> um, I think it's kind of been a number of things and my partner being like his wonderful life coach self sort of explained it in probably the most brilliant metaphor I can say. And it's literally just like the one where the frog is getting boiled slowly. So it doesn't realize that it's dying until it's too late. And I hate to sound dramatic, but that's sort of what it felt like in terms of um, just not really getting the right opportunities and things that I wanted. So I do think I've spoken about this in the past um, just in like Q and A's and things like that. When you guys ask me what it's like being a female in the construction industry. And to be honest, it's definitely getting a lot better, but the problem is, um, probably like many of you, and especially as women, like we sort of have a particular, you know, career trajectory. And if you are intending to like start a family or like want to do some other things with your life, then you've got this like window of time to really develop yourself as much as you can before, you know, that sort of, um, phase of your life happens. It's not like your career is over or anything, but it's just a different thing when you're having to juggle families. Cause I'm seeing my sister do that at the moment with her little boy and it just looks really, really tough. So, um, that's something that is a major consideration of mine. And yeah, I just sort of had got to the point where I have always been someone who wants to like go, go, go. And I literally like skipped a year of school, went straight into uni, did my whole five years as quick as I could, got out, did my additional two years of like sort of prac study while you're like working, got my registration when I was 25 and then, you know, got my first project as a project architect. And that's exactly what I was. I was leading projects. I had a small team underneath me and it was really fulfilling work. Like it's literally to me, I feel like I have really great leadership skills and I really enjoy taking on that role. So 
I kind of love the added responsibility, but I also thrive in like mentoring people and I don't know, just trying to give people opportunities that like I didn't get myself. So that's where I started off at this particular company. And honestly, when I got the job, I was ecstatic because first of all, I bought a new car because I got a bit of a salary jump. So that was exciting because I literally had my same like shitty old car since I was like 17. So that was a bit of a life shift. Um, around the same time as like when I met my partner. So like that portion of my life was like all sort of coming together. And I also was given a beautiful hotel project to work on, which was around about the $350 million mark. So it is probably the largest project that I've ever done. And I had a bit of a team with me and it was incredible. We documented the entire thing for a year, but then because lockdown happened, it like literally went on hold. So um, that sucked because to this day, it's still never been built. It just kind of went to planning phase and then kind of conked out. So, um, in between that time now, because we were in lockdown for so long, I just kind of flitted in between like multiple different teams working on projects. And I can't really say what quite a lot of them are because we do, um, some confidential work sometimes, but essentially I was just an architect then floating around on teams, which don't get me wrong, it's fine. I don't mind being like a team player as well. But to me, that was just a temporary transition period while I was waiting for my next project. And I definitely indicated that I was interested in having another project and it just was like a whole bunch of false starts and then it never happened. And then I was thrown onto this random team and just given this very niche, very complex, like highly technical task, which in a way is complimentary because it's like, okay, well, like, thanks for trusting me to do this thing. And like, I was really involved with the team and, um, it's a very big role, you know, but the problem with that was that I was very stressed, very tired. I was completely under-resourced because it was quite literally me just taking on what should be a three person task. And, um, I just wasn't loving the project. It was just a massive project. Absolutely not what I wanted to be working on at all. I definitely nominated that I wanted to be back on like smaller stuff, like, um, back into maybe some apartments or those kind of things, just something with a little bit more soul, um, with a user who I know, you know what I mean? Not like faceless people that I'm designing some random space for. And yeah, that just sort of, um, really threw me. And then uh, there's a random like straw that broke the camel's back is that I, um, work like literally in the city on a beautiful laneway and they, we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous studio, right? And then they said they were moving us to like South Bank and I'm like, I actually cannot, like, I don't know why it's such a mental block for me, but like, I just feel like it was the last shred of enjoyment that I had being like in the city and able to like lunch with my friends and things and like, keep me a little bit sane. And then I just had this massive epiphany. And that's probably what you saw me journaling in the last vlog where I was just like, no, actually like, no, I will not keep doing this random thing. I'm literally at the peak of my career right now. And it's absolutely critical that I make some like better decisions about where I want to go because my trajectory just kind of went like this, then like this. And I'm like, no, I want to be back to being a project architect, being trained up, doing better stuff and just I suppose ultimately learning skills where I'm going to be able to go out on my own and not kind of work for someone else forever. So I know that it's also not for everyone either, but I feel like maybe just with the work life balance thing. And like over the last few years, my values have really shifted quite a lot. And yeah, I just kind of can't see myself doing that like nine to five for someone else every single day. And obviously I am fortunate to have this channel and have you guys supporting me here, which is something that I feel like when this grows cross fingers a little bit more, I'm actually going to be able to drop down to like four days, maybe three days and just kind of work part time there and then part time on this because I love creating this kind of content and I've got a ton more business ideas of things that I want to do uh, in this space, but I just don't have any time. So, um, yeah, that's just something that's really been playing on my mind lately. So there you have it. I literally just like went home that day, did my resume and I was like messaging my friend in recruitment. And I'm like, I haven't done this in so long. It's like getting back into dating or something. I just felt so awkward. I was like, what do people even want to see on resumes anymore? And like, I don't know, I had to do a whole portfolio, which is like a whole nother thing. So I 100% know that's why I've gotten run down because I applied at three places 
and amazingly all three gave me an offer and I was so flattered and I've ended up picking one which I just think is such an incredible opportunity for me. So I'll now be working in, I've gone from a company of literally 250 people to a small practice with only 14 architects and it's all super luxury, high-end um, houses and apartments and things. And amazingly, the project that I will be working on is actually based in Brisbane. So I might even get a little bit of travel, like potentially to go up to the site and um, maybe for meetings and things like that as well, which was also um, something that was just never a possibility with where I previously worked. And just knowing that I'm going to have full autonomy again, like he's literally given me my contract that says senior project architect. And just the feeling um, of like, I don't know, like reassurance and like confidence that instilled back in me that like, yes, that is exactly like what I am. And I don't ever want to come across as like, I don't know, sounding like egotistical in any way. But I guess what I'm trying to say is like, you got to back yourself, you know, it's like you work for years to, to learn your specific skills in like whatever it is that you do. And if I give like a totally random other example, like, um, my mum works at Bunnings and she's worked there for ages and she was really like not enjoying working on the um, cash registers anymore. So then she asked if she could like study horticulture and like go and work in the nursery. So they supported her through that. And then she kind of didn't like that because they have to like lug like, you know, heavy bags of soil and things, which is, I mean, yeah, it's like, <laughs> I saw this quote today and I thought it was so funny. Like I literally almost spat my coffee out and it was someone, um, it was like a meme and it said, um, what's your dream job? And the lady says, darling, nothing. I don't dream of labor <laughs> anyway. So, but yeah, her, she now works on like the special orders desk, which is amazing, right? Because it's like, when you know that store back the front, that is the perfect role for you. So, um, yeah, I guess that's what I was like loosely getting at, but I am very, very excited to be starting that new role. So I am actually finishing my other job um, next week. I just sort of asked if I could have two weeks notice instead of four, because I want to have two weeks off in between to work on a lot of content and things for you guys. And um, yeah, just have a little bit of a mental break and a bit of a reset because it is going to be a major shift going from like an enormous company to something kind of smaller. But um, yeah, I'm really, really excited for the change. So um Yes, don't go out and quit your jobs. I'm not trying to inspire you to blow up your life, but I just think it's really good to, you know, like reassess your values every now and then because that is what I did. And um, not only am I now going to be earning more money, but I'm like back in the exact type of position and role that like I've really, really been wanting. So yeah, that is the life update. Um, now I'm going to finish getting ready because um, Jazz is going to come around here. So I'm going to cook up like a little chicken pasta kind of thing for dinner, I think. And it is 5.30 now. So um, thankfully I've already got my hair and makeup done. So I'm just going to change into my outfit and then I'll cook us dinner and we'll be good to go. So this is what I'm thinking of wearing tonight. I have this beautiful cobalt blue kind of Beck and Bridge dress and it still has a tag on because I haven't worn it yet, but I've just got these little white heels from H&M. I can't remember where this white bag is from, but it wasn't a super expensive one. This dress, which is kind of mini length and my beautiful gold necklace to finish it off. So I think that might be really nice vibe. It is unseasonably warm weather here in Melbourne. So if I remember, I'll take take a little clip at the bar and bring you guys along. So I hope my partner really likes it because that is exactly who I booked it for. He really, really loves piano. So I thought it would be fun to go and see some live music. Don't you see?